and welcome back. This is Beller Scuba with another episode of StarCraft 2 Fun or Not. This is a map known as Everything is Instant Build Map. It's a very standard name for a very standard map these days, and I'm a big fan of this. It gets a lot of things right that instant build maps typically don't get right. First of all, you notice that I am the Terran player here in the kind of middle bottom right here. But as you can see, I do have a probe out. I assumed that because, like most instant build maps, it is always best to be probed. I've faced, I've fought and fought and that's not a word. I have battled on many instant build maps before, and they always lean towards Protoss players. It's sickening, um, because even though you can get all these uh, minerals as quickly as you can, um, see, look, boom, instantly a supply depot comes into effect, and then I can instantly build a barracks. What they get wrong is that you can't instantly build as any other race except a Protoss player, so even uh, the build times are usually the same, even though um, the income is skewed differently. Genetics, of course, left as soon as the game started. So if you were here for him, I am sorry he has left the game. And Sky Knight was never even here. So even though this looks like it should be a 4-on-2, it is a full 2-on-2 two two here. Uh, Snow Viper and WEMT against Hyamal and me. Uh, this was a lot of fun. You know, you can... You, I can make medics, firebacks, uh, ghosts, specters. Um, I can call down special units, Tychus, uh, Rainer, Tosh. Um, I don't know what that one was. I can get Nova, and of course I can lift off. Uh, you can also get a Goliath, Predator, I don't know, a Vulture, Diamondback, Thor, Odin. Odin. So what I ended up trying to do here was I was going to stick with the Terran tech tree here, but use uh, the probe to get me supply. Because I am not a big fan of the supply depots because, of course, they're square. You can run between the pylons. You cannot run between the supply depots. So I ended up going for supply depots overall, and I got my marines out. Got my tech reactor going. Uh, Barracks was the only one with the tech reactor. That one was a little disappointing, but I will live with that. Of course, out of the starport here, you can get a Wraith, Hercules, Loki, and uh, Banshee. Uh, people got um, Hercules. I don't know why. Uh, Loki. Uh, here, I, I can tell you that... Oh, the Hyperion. Don't get it. I'll show you. I'll show you why later. But if you're playing this map right now, don't get that. Uh, what can we get out of the gateways? You can, of course, get Zeratul, Karas, uh, Dark Templars, High Templars, Stalkers, the standard. Um, I'm kind of upset that there weren't. Um, what do you call them? Starcraft One Dragoons. That's what they were. Uh, most people went um, for Zerg here. Looks like uh, my teammate here, as he spawned as Zerg, he's going to stick with the Zerg units. That was pretty much my strategy as well. Stick with the units that you know. Um, looks like I did get that armory finally, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to mass Thors. Why, why the hell would I waste my time with Marines and Medics and Siege Tanks when I can get Thors? So I got these massive Thors, and if you notice here... Another great feature of this map, there is a computer opponent. Um, this white player here, um, and that prevents rushes because there are cannons guarding the exits to your base. So it prevents rushes. What the hell is this? This is a Torin Space Marine. Holy crap, look at that thing. That thing is awesome. You can get a Perdition turret. Well, I mean, you can get a Merc Compound. Um, what else can we get here? Sensor Tower. Those... <laughs> Anybody can find a good use for a sensor tower, you know, let me know. Because I, I've i tried so hard, and I haven't been able to find any. Um, I got all the upgrades on these guys. They are 333, even though, you know, technically that's only two upgrades. Uh, two millimeter strike cannon I did eventually remember to get. And surprisingly, I'm always low on minerals here. Um, 
So I'm starting to move out with my first um, my first group of Thors. Another thing that's great, look at this. I'm up to 307 supply count. Even though I only have 155 used, uh, th that is greatly appreciated. My uh, teammate here had some good ideas. He is uh, making a second base that is good, but as you can see, he is really high on minerals, so he doesn't necessarily need it. Look at my lovely pylon farm here. I'm continuing to make uh, Thors. I decided to go the Banshee route. Um, gonna get uh, clothing, cloaking on that so that these guys, well these ladies here, can be overpowered uh, even more than they already are. I'm sorry, if you're not using rays or uh, banshees, sorry. Wraith is uh, a different unit entirely. Uh, Broodlords and uh, more Broodlords out for my opponent, or for my teammate. If you're not using uh, banshees at all, then you're missing a big part of Terran strategy here. Now I understand that a lot of people don't want to use them because they're considered cheap or they only think that they're harassing units. These guys are awesome. These ladies, I should say. Uh, looks like WEMT is going out for an attack here. Does he realize that there are photon cannons on the other sides of these things? It doesn't look like he does. And these things are doing a huge amount of damage and it takes out all the stalkers. How much damage does it do? It does 400 damage. And it doesn't look... Did he go for any upgrades at all? I don't see a forge anywhere. Good lord. So we're moving in. And of course we're doing damage that we need to do here. And then these guys are moving out. These are 3-3. Three, three. These guys don't get that upgrade though. The Tauren Marines do not get the upgrades. Um, it looks like uh, when, you, when your teammate leaves you can still control his units. So it is good that we went down here and took out everything that he had. Uh, holy crap, look at that. These guys are still trying to take out these photon cannons. Meanwhile, our units are moving north. I do have another supply here. I went for ravens, battleship, battle cruisers, and thors. I figured I would stick with the standard units, the ones that I knew, instead of going for uh, units that I didn't know. As you can see here, they have supply locked themselves. Holy crap! I mean, what production doesn't? Oh, of course production doesn't work. Let me just turn off that all off. So I'm moving in. I finally cloak so that these void rays can't do any damage. Neither can these mutilists. I need to get these Thors up there as soon as I can, but it looks like he's going to be taking out Broodlords in the meantime until finally those guys come in. Uh, never got the upgrades on the on those there. Jackson's Revenge is out. I don't know what that is, but it's going to die to my Thors. And of course, these massive amount of broodlings are doing incredible damage. What do these guys do? Uh, they only do four, it looks like. Uh, even though these guys are 3-3. Three, three. Oh, Broodling Psych does 26 damage now. Holy crap, that is a lot of damage. So I'm just continuing to rally units, as is my teammate here. Um, I rally them to the middle when I catch all this stuff in the middle. Tassadar is hanging out in the middle here. I have no idea what he's for um, at all. Sorry. Um, I don't know if there was something in the map that was supposed to tell me, but it... I didn't catch it. And once again, you know, Orange here is not making any units. I don't know why. W and T has left, and it looks like all he's got left are these overlords. Uh, well, no, he's still in the game. Uh, just, just not leaving. I don't know why. These guys only have two... Uh, two uh, armor. I don't know why that one... I struggled with that. Uh, fusion core is out for me as I'm continuing to rack up all these units. As you can see, I'm 395 out of 400. 400 is the supply lot, supply cap here. That is great. And then he's got Loki's out. And look at this. They can't do anything. Don't get Loki's. A uh, small glitch in the game. Well, not small, but this guy obviously 
uh, didn't think it was small, but I think it's pretty small overall. The Lokis don't work, don't get the Lokis. Uh, so I'm just trying to move in, and here I'm starting to notice, you know what? Uh, he's going to be able to instantly make as many Marines as he wants thanks to these SCVs. So I'm taking out the supply depots, or at least I'm trying to, while trying to take out the Marines. And then finally I'm like, you know what, screw it, all you guys you need to move up here and take out the SCVs and take out the command center and take out the Nexus. Yeah, there we go. Move up there. This thing should not stand a chance against the might of everything that we have, and they don't. But he still has so much here. No, he spent it all, finally. So he's unable to take to, to make any more Marines, so we're able to take out the barracks. Down goes the, the Nexus as well. Down go all the SCVs. They're surrounded by broodlings. All of these things died. Meanwhile, we took out this other base here. I tried to send a Raven here to find out what Tassadar was up to, but uh, he, there, he had nothing for me. So I'm taking out uh, this white player here and uh, throwing down auto turrets. Um, I really had nothing to, for my uh, ravens to do. Never got the upgrades, as I, want, as I said. But there you go. Fastest map. Once again, let me go over some of the great things uh, that this map allowed. Um, number one. Okay, number one. Let's start here. Units that don't normally come in the game, right? We've got Tychus Finley, Jim Rayner, Tosh, uh, Torrin Space Marine, Nova, Spectre. Number two, everything is built instantly. Otherwise, it's almost pointless for for you to be anything other than pr Protoss because anything else you need to waste an SCV or uh, t to waste the time on it or if you're a Zerg player you need to pretty much lose a drone to try to make it whereas the, SC whereas the probe can just go ch -ch 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 and make as many things as you want. Uh, number two or number three whatever number I was on um, you have these things here that are awesome that prevent rushes. These photon cannons. Oh my gosh, it's great. Uh, number whatever number I'm on. Oh, on Omega Lisk. That thing was awesome. I, I have no p I have no comment on what these things are because oh they do attack. So uh, this guy was not doing anything because uh, pretty much everything that came at him was air. And I was trying to figure out why aren't these guys attacking me, but that is the reason why. Uh, there are expansions for you. That is also insanely awesome. And look how much... I mean, is this still going? No. I mean, look how many minerals he's given you here. You will never use all of that. I'm up to, what, uh, how long have you been playing? 15 minutes. And, and this is an instant build map. And I barely used... 20,000 minerals overall. And I have 16,000 of them left. Uh, so 40 minerals overall. 40,000 minerals. So, I mean, he's given you so much more minerals than you'll ever need. A lot of instant build maps, they don't. And after two battles, you run out of minerals and you need to expand. It's hard for me to show you guys what else you can make here. Um, because the Zerg players are, well not showing off everything. You can make lurkers, which is awesome. Ultralisks, corruptors, mutalisks, omega lisks, infestors, and, you know, hybrid reavers, which is awesome to get a reaver in here. Um, you know, it's hard to show what else you can make. Uh, where's, where's one of the Protoss things? Oh, that thing's dead. I kept on trying to click it anyways, though. Um, no more Protoss buildings for me to show for you guys, but there were still some things that could have been in here that weren't. I would love if those were added. I would love if Loki was fixed. I feel bad for this guy because he went for, I think, three of them and they all died uselessly. So this was a fun map. It got a lot of things right. Uh, very few things wrong. Let me look and see what the name is again. It's Everything is Instant Build Map. I'll have to keep this because it's kind of spelled strangely. A lot of fun. Bring your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell Randy Gonzalez. I'm coming. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of StarCraft 2 Fun or Not. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. 
Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.